Ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages, Coast of Child here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we'll be talking about Port of Ventura, because we've got potential construction for a 2023 attraction. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of images uh, from forum members of the Port of Ventura community, so shout out to whoever posts those photos onto the PA community forum page. Uh, you, uh, whoever you are, you do get the credit for it, and these images. Uh, we also got a bit of a square foot image to sort of show you the land, whether it's where the work's been taking place and also going to share with you my thoughts and predictions as to what this could be now before we get started guys make sure you do like the video if you loved it uh, comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you are new around here click the notification bell so you never miss youtube video also guys check the description down below for social media links and the google forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and for now guys let's have a look at exactly what's going on potentially for 2023 at the point of Ventura. So there has been construction work in the far west area of Port Aventura theme park, demolishing one of the buildings housing various games. Now the current rumours spread around the community are a new building for a new indoor attraction, maybe indoor family coaster or dart ride. Another rumour is it's themed to La Liga, the Spanish Football League, marketing the transition between the park and the future La Liga theme park, which is most probably planned to occupy the parking lot in front of Caribe Aquatic Park. Now, the overall area affected by the works is 7,000 square metres, which is 75,347 square foot, which is on your screen now. Van Dabby Dozy, so you see the work that's taking place. This is right on the crossover between the aquatic park, you see the Bang Bang West next to it as well. You see Stampede near it as well. So it's quite a bit of land taking place. And I feel like this could be a nice, decent site here. Um, now, in terms of potential um theming if you if you're sort of sitting there thinking well is it la liga is it far west well on your screen now fan dozy is an, another image from someone from the pa community shout out to them and it's a bit of construction work over the last 24 hours another picture confirming the opening of a new attraction in 2023 and by the theming of the fence and this and the theming of the lettering it could be possibly themed to far west uh, now, uh, in terms of potential rumours as to what this could be, obviously a few people have been talking about the European Axis Coaster for 2023. Could it be that? Um, and obviously there's, a, there's other attraction types that it could be. But I'm going to share my thoughts as to what I think it will be right now. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is the latest from Port Aventura and the 2023 attraction. Now, of course, like I said, there are rumours about an indoor attraction, maybe a dart ride or indoor coaster for the families, um, or something to occupy La Liga theme to provide a crossover between the Liga theme park and the Port Aventura theme park. Of course, the La Liga theme park is a planned project for the next few years. Uh, it's like a new third gate theme park kind of thing. Um, now, obviously, this is a very interesting scenario. Obviously, it's in its early stages right now, so we don't know much more than that. Uh, I don't think it's going to be to do with La Liga. I, I think that's going to be, you know, not related to this project. Uh, so this, for me, will be part of the Far West section of the park. This, for me, is part of the theme park. And uh, I think it will be either a dart ride, an indoor coaster, or an axis coaster. I think it will either be the European Axis 2023, or it will be some kind of dart ride or... Uh, indoor coaster. I think a nice indoor coaster would be great as well for Port Aventura. Imagine the, the theming level you could go with it and the kind of detail you could wrap around it. Especially with the Far West themed area to consider as well. Imagine the kind of storylines you could, could come up with as a storyline, as a basis for a foundation for a greatly themed indoor dark ride or roller coaster. Um, I think the potential is really, really there, especially if you go with someone like a Ziera or an Intamin to manufacture this. Look at the sort of indoor sections in coasts that they've done in the past. Look at 13 at Alton Towers with that indoor uh, world's, world's first section at the time in 2010. Um, look at Verbolton with their section in indoors as well, the indoor sort of Black Forest section, the show building, um, as well as the outdoor sections. Look at... Movie Park Studios and Movie Park Germany recently. That's another 
uh, Intamin roller coaster that's got some special sections inside the building. So, uh, yeah, I think the Movie Park Studios 13, uh, the Bolton, if you want to use the Air example, I think there's, there's, a, there's quite a few examples out there of coasts with indoor sections or indoor roller coasters that you know, have that ability to create a basis and foundation for a good storyline, especially when you've got the area to work with it around it for Bolton with Oktoberfest, 13 with the Dark Forest, Movie Park Studios and that whole kind of cinematic plaza area around the coaster. So I feel like, you know, Port Aventura has got a nice area to work with, with the far west section of the park, and I think Port Aventura could really utilize it to its full potential. So we'll wait and see, but that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, and for now, I am Coast Shell, keep living the coast of life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a far west, fantastic day. Yeehaw! Let the music